Faust calls Mars the bringer of war. And when you listen to the piece of music, that's the kind of feeling I get. So it sounds like we're going into battle and you get that kind of epic scene. Mars is red because the iron on the surface has been oxidised, turning that orangey colour. A bit like when your bike in the shed, you've left it there for months and it starts to go rusty. That's exactly the same thing that happens on the surface of Mars. Curiosity is the rover that NASA sent to Mars in 2012, and it's by far given us the most information and the best pictures of Mars we've ever seen. It was even able to dig into the Martian surface, showing us that there is ice underneath the surface. There was water once on the surface of Mars. These canals show the paths of where the ancient waters used to flow. And this is really exciting because maybe it poses the question that once upon a time there was life on Mars, or maybe there still is. Right now there's a mission on its way to Mars called InSight sent by NASA. It left in May and it's going to arrive at the Martian system on November 26, so you can be watching that live. This year of 2018 is a really fantastic time for you to go out into your back garden and look at Mars. You don't even need a telescope, you can just look at it with the naked eye. It's going to be the closest it's been in 15 years, so it's going to be a fantastic spectacle. Mars is really the only other planet in our solar system which could provide the right kind of environment for us to colonise as a planet. At the moment there's no oxygen on Mars but we're hoping to develop new techniques to allow us to still be able to support life on Mars and one day this seems like a real possibility. Could you be the first man or woman on Mars? Maybe. Elon Musk from SpaceX has already said he hopes to have a mission in 2025. And NASA is saying 2030, 2040, it's possible for us to start a civilization or at least a small group of astronauts to go to Mars and set up a camp there. And I think it's down to you and your generation to maybe be the first ones to stand on Mars. <laughs>